let's begin the part one of module one in this session we'll be discussing how we can enter expressions into the interactive shell so this session teaches the basics of python we will uh, explore different data types like integers real numbers and strings we will learn how to use expressions in the mathematical operations we will learn how to store values in variables and some manipulation on the strings so let's first understand what is python see python is a programming language that has to be learned for data science and artificial intelligence it's a very powerful language at very easily to learn python has huge libraries that helps us do complex operations very easily in very less lines of code so let's now learn how to enter expressions into the interaction shell so if you are using windows just go to the start menu uh, go to all programs and then select Python 3.3 from there you have to select ideally that is the integrated development learning environment for the Python shell GUI so if you're working on other operating systems like you have to for example Mac you have to go to applications from there Mac Python you have to select if you're working on Ubuntu then you have to go to your terminal window and enter ideally 3 so let's see how this works So since mine is operating system, uh, my operating system here I'm using is Windows. I can go here to all programs and here I have to select Python. Three point nine and here you can select the ideally or the easiest way is just click on the search and type here ideally you can just get your integrated development learning environment or the shell terminal for python so here you can type in your uh, simple uh, commands and see how it works so let's just give a simple mathematical operation let's say 2 plus 2 plus 2 it's equal to 4 okay so let's try something else give a little bit complex S some bigger expressions it works let's give the same thing with parenthesis okay so like this we can just give our commands here single commands and check our output So like we can see this is a editor, editor uh, or our uh, shell terminal where this is the prompt that appears at the interactive shell. So you can just give your mathematical operations. This uh, mathematical operation which is called as an expression. So wait, what is an expression? Expression consists of values and operators. So in the expression 2 plus 2, 2 is the value and plus is the operator and which is evaluated and it is reduced to a single value so 2 plus 2 is evaluated and it is reduced to a single value 4 and that we are getting as output so what does this mean we can use expressions anywhere in your python code that you can get the value that you need so before we use mathematical operations we need to understand the precedence which operator has the highest precedence and which is the lower precedence please you need to remember this like for example exponent what does this mean 2 exponent 3 it means it is 2 into 2 into 2 so that evaluates to 8 this has the highest precedence next 22 percentage 8 this percentage operator we call it as modulus operator or remainder operator it gives us the remainder after dividing 22 by 8 what is the remainder you get 6 so that is a value which is which you get if you have double slash we call it as integer division 22 double slash 8 it means it's an integer division that means if you divide 22 by 8 what is the question that you get you get something like 2.456 something like that so that is not evaluated and the value the quotient is rounded off to an integer value that is 2 but if you don't want it to round off just give a single slash so 22 by divided by 8 is actually 2.75 so that value we get here and asterisk is the multiplication operation this is a subtraction operation and then division operation so let's just try these simple operations in the editor 
So let's try exponent as I said 2 exponent 3 that means which is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 3 times. So that should give us 8. 23 divided by 7. Now here you are dividing 23 by 7 it should not be rounded off. So you are getting 3.2855 something. So if you want the quotient to be rounded off just give double slash 7. So you get the value which is rounded off to the integer value that is 3. If you want to see the remainder just give the modulus operator. So you get the remainder here. Suppose can I give spaces like this 2 plus lot of spaces? Yes it works. Now what is the value of this? 5 minus 1 asterisk or multiplication operator 7 plus 1 3 minus 1 so what is the value that you get here 16 so you can try these different operations you can also try to give something which is wrong let's say 5 plus what it should say there's an invalid syntax let's try to give something like this what do you get invalid syntax because I have given two operators here plus and star so try to do a lot of work on this and uh, try to work on uh, precedence and uh, so precedence operations which is the highest precedence which is the lowest precedence and try as many options as possible so this is also available in the video you can just try to work this out and you can see how finally we got the 16 as the value and these are some examples of bad python instructions so in this sessions we have seen the different mathematical operations uh, which we call it as expressions so just to revise what is an expression for example 42 plus th uh, let's say this is an expression so expression consists of values and operators 5 1 7 1 3 1 these are all values and minus star division division sign subtraction sign these are the operators thank you